This is problem number two from assessment number six. It says find the area of the shaded region. And they give you one, uh, one equation, which is y equals two cosecant theta cotangent theta. And then they give you another equation, which is y equals two root two. So we have y equals two root two and y equals two cosecant theta cotangent theta and they want to find the area between the two curves. Well, we know uh, using this formula that we can find the area between, between two curves as long as they're both continuous uh, throughout A, B, so from one x value to another x value. And we would just want to take the top equation, the equation that's greater than or equal to the other one, and subtract it from the other equation. Well, in this case, two root two is the top equation 2 cosecant theta cotangent theta is the bottom equation. So we're going to integrate from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. And we're going to do that for 2 root 2 minus 2 cosecant theta cotangent theta. So let's write that. The area is going to equal the integral from pi over 4, because that's the farthest x value to the left to 3 pi over 4, because that's the farthest x value to the right. And that's going to be for 2 root 2 minus 2 cosecant theta cotangent theta. So this is going to be d theta at the end too as well. A is going to equal then, I'm going to factor out a 2. There's a 2 in each of these. And uh, I think that's going to make it easier if we factor a 2 out. So I'm going to put 2 out front, integral pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. And that will leave us with root 2 minus cosecant theta cotangent theta, d theta. So now we're going to actually do the integration. So it's going to be 2. And then when we integrate, if we look... Uh, first of all, root 2 will be root 2 theta. But if we look at our derivatives, we see that negative cosecant x cotangent x is the derivative of cosecant x, meaning uh, the antiderivative of negative cosecant x cotangent x is cosecant x. So this is just going to be plus cosecant theta. And we're going to evaluate this function, or this function from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. So then let's go ahead and do that. We get equals to, when we plug in 3 pi over 4, we're going to get uh, root 2 times 3 pi over 4 plus cosecant of 3 pi over 4 minus, plug in pi over 4 this time, we get root 2 times pi over 4 plus cosecant pi over 4. Remember, it's 2 being distributed to all of this here. So this is going to be 2, when I take root 2 times uh, 3 pi over 4, I get 3, 3 pi root 2, we'll write it that way, 3 pi root 2 over 4, cosecant 3 pi over 4. What is cosecant 3 pi over 4? Well, cosecant, I'm going to kind of write that out to the side here, cosecant of 3 pi over 4 is 1 over sine 3 pi over 4. I know sine of 3 pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So cosine of 3 pi, or sorry, cosecant of 3 pi over 4 is 1 over root 2 over 2, which is just the reciprocal which is 2 over root 2. Minus root 2 times pi, we get 
uh, pi root two over four, and then cosecant of pi over four. Again, what's sine of pi over four? Sine of pi over four is root two over two. So cosecant is the reciprocal of that, which would be uh, minus, when I distribute the negative, minus uh, two over root two. We can see that the two over root twos cancel. We can multiply the two throughout. And so when this cancels with this, when we multiply the two, it cancels with the denominator here, leaving us with three pi root two over two minus pi root two over two, which is gonna be two pi root two over two which leaves us with pi root two. So pi root two is our area for uh, basically this line, this equation y equals two root two, to this line y equals two cosecant theta, cotangent theta from pi over four to three pi over four. Our area would be pi root two.